suddenly there seems to be a lot of rain. Even the flag is waving pretty strongly. On top of that, the sky is all cloudy. If I didn't know better, I think it's about to rain. Zinny mo zinny. Oh my god, it's 28.2 indoor. It's pretty hot today. Okay, to quote the penguin, bring down the AC. Maximum power. No, it did not rain. Uh, <laughs> after all of that, no rain today. Um, so yeah, that kind of sucked. Um, anyway, that was pretty much the theme of today. Everything pretty much sucked. Um, temperature was hot. It's night and it's still 26, 27 degrees. Um, motorcycle super loud either. <laughs> uh, that thing was uh, actually against the law. It's illegal to have a motorcycle muffler that loud. But apparently it's not being enforced or being enforced so periodically that people just don't give a damn about it. Um, what else happened today? Not, nothing much happened. We planned for the uh, restaurant to reopen properly. Online and offline. It's going to be a mix of between uh, pork and non-pork based products. Separated by sales means, I suppose. We're still not sure what we're going to sell because there's already a new restaurant down there. And it's taken up a lot of space for what they were doing. Uh, I didn't I didn't think they would be taking up so much space in the restaurant, but there we go. And uh, chickens. I'm not sure how we're going to sell a chicken without pork, but apparently we're going to do it. I still have to figure out how to sell it online. I know how to sell it via TikTok and live. I don't know how it can be made sustainable for something that must be immediately ordered, sent, and consumed. Because that's what restaurants are, right? You cook it, sell it, you consume it immediately. Um, beyond that, I don't know. I'm still leaning towards things that can be packaged and sent out. But then again, we're not doing that with chicken. We can't. Uh, it has to be cooked fresh and eaten fresh. Uh, we can do that for the pork product. That's no problem. We could set it out. <laughs> but the problem is, we need to sell those pro pork products offline in the restaurant crap. So it's backwards. Our situation is not in sync with our capabilities. These needs to be reformed. Um, I encoded the videos. I have... Oh my god. I have three hard drives that are full of video materials that I need to make my YouTube videos for editing but they're taking up so much space uh, one movie can be 50 gigabytes because they're so high resolution and movies used to have lots of noises film noise whatever um, these days not so much because of the increase of streaming services and they try to conserve bandwidth, and by doing that, they need to reduce uh, the file size of the movie. By reducing the file size of the movies, the first thing that needs to go would be noise. Either film noise, or encoding noise, or sensor noise, or whatever. Grains that needs to go. And usually I have to uh, clean up the noise on the video editing software, DaVinci Resolve, that I use. And that takes time during export. I thought maybe I can hit a couple birds with one stone, you know. Um, I could re-encode the videos to make it smaller. I could denoise them and make it even smaller. 
but apparently denoising and re-encoding one hour video properly takes about five to six hours so going to take a while but i don't have that many movies to begin with anyway so probably that's gonna work yeah i need to work on my translation and yeah composite that full uh source file for the book that we need to fix i'm gonna have to take a look at that they even couldn't transcribe the proclamation properly they're misspelling mis translation mis mis not mistranslation <laughs> it's just the wrong word included in the proclamation for whatever reason i need to find out why even the dates are wrong so we need to fix that so yeah That's it for today. Thank you for watching.